Okay, boys, modelling the new kit today. Niall, how'd you like it? Yeah, it's nice. I think it's uh, it's like anything. Once you get the SPFL badges on it, your names and numbers, so it all come together very quickly once the season starts. But yeah, that's no, nice. So looking forward to wearing it soon. Do you know how many Aberdeen kits you've worn now? So I write a few between home and away, probably maybe a good twenty, maybe I'd say. And this one definitely your favourite. Uh, for now, anyway. Hopefully, there's there's more to come. But yeah, nah, no, I've, I've liked a lot of them over the years, and uh, nah. No, Obviously, the way one's going to get released soon as well, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. Jay, your thoughts on it? Yeah, obviously, it's enjoyable for me. Obviously, red being my favourite colour, so it all seems to come together well, and I'm enjoying the new kit so far. How are you settling in at Aberdeen? We see your videos on social media. You seem to be really enjoying yourself so far. Yeah, it's been a great two weeks. Obviously, third week coming up now. Um, just looking forward to obviously keep getting to know people on like a person-to-person -person basis, and obviously the training and stuff's been good, so I'm just looking forward to it. Niall, how's pre-season been so far? It's been very good, it's been intense, uh, been pretty full on with sort of uh, pitch sessions, gym sessions, but now it's been really good and the boys have worked hard and got a couple of weeks behind us now, so it's just about maintaining that fitness, uh, a few games coming up, uh, maintaining the sharpness, getting the sharpness through the games, match fitness as well, so now looking forward to obviously the games coming thick and fast, but most importantly getting ready for the first European game. And Jay, as Niall says, we're into July now, so it really does seem real, doesn't it? The first European game's only a number of weeks away. Yeah, no, obviously it's something to look forward to, especially obviously over two legs having to travel away and stuff like that. So it's something for us all to, to have targets set for the first game and obviously hoping that we can go there. or well, they can come here, we can get the W and we can go there and repeat the same again. So it's something that everybody's obviously looking forward to coming up for the first game. And Niall, we obviously didn't have fans in last season at all at Pataudry. How different was it playing in front of a, an empty Pataudry? You're also used to playing in front of packed Pataudrys as well at times. Yeah, very strange. I think uh, you always sort of, as a professional, you always sort of, you need the, the fans behind you to give you sort of that extra 10%. Uh, I think, especially at home, uh, there's a lot of tough home games where obviously we're maybe 0-0, there's not many goals being scored, but you sort of need the crowd to get behind you to, to give that more momentum to go, go forward and uh, create chances and score goals. And, Away games as well, you always enjoy going to all these uh, intimidating atmospheres and uh, obviously the, the, the Aberdeen fans always travel in the numbers and it's going to be good this season, hopefully they get into the, the two Dundee games, Hibs, Hearts, uh, obviously Celtic and Rangers as well, so it's got a uh, makings of an exciting season, so we're looking forward to definitely the fans getting back. And Jay, you must be excited to, to come and meet the Aberdeen fans as well when they're allowed back in. Yeah, no, it's something that I've been looking forward to, fans coming back in general, but obviously Hearing about the fans and, and seeing what the fans be like, obviously due to internet and stuff like that, is going to be great. And I look forward to them coming back and look forward to the boys being able to perform in front of them at home stadium. Jay, Niall, thank you very much.